Hi, Vogue. I am Salma Hayek, and today we are going to be looking at some of my most iconic looks throughout my career. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so this is 1996. Yes, that's how old I am. And I wore these to the MTV Movie Awards, and I think I was nominated for Best Kiss. I was wearing an interesting lipstick to be one of the nominees for that category. I like the look. It's kind of like a very sexy tuxedo. I really like the hair. I think I was channeling Ariana Grande before Ariana Grande was born. Okay. This Armani dress was the first time I went to the Oscars. It's the first time I presented at the Oscars. It's a very simple dress. At that time, not many people wanted to dress me because I was not that well known. And so I'm very grateful to Mr. Armani for supporting me at the beginning of my career. And I have to say that I decided I wanted to wear a tiara and everybody told me I was crazy and it was ridiculous and it was going to be pretentious and everybody tried to convince me not to do it like my manager, my stylist, my publicist and I wore the tiara anyway. Uh, and you know what happened? Everybody started wearing a tiara after that and I never got credit for that trend. Never, ever, ever, because I was kind of an unknown. It's okay, I know. So this is 1997. This black Versace dress, I love, and I have very interesting memories about it because Johnny gave it to me, and I think it was it, it's a beautiful dress, and it fit me so well like a glove. I only got to wear it at the Met when we were doing homage to Johnny, who was also very generous to me. He was one of the first ones that invited me to his parties and um, I think even a fashion show in New York and I was just getting to know him when unfortunately he so tragically died but I'm also very grateful that he supported me at the beginning of my career. This is MTV again and it's 1998 and so I got this lovely very simple black dress and I didn't have that much jewelry at the time. So I decided to wear some tattoos and I thought butterflies would be nice. So I, it was my design to make the dress more interesting. This, I was very proud actually to come up with something interesting. Nobody, they were even really hard to come across and I might've painted them. I might've had someone painted those tattoos because the stickers were not even probably existing in that time. And that was my style. Okay, this next one, it's 1999. I found this skirt somewhere and the shirt somewhere else and somehow put it together. And this is the thing, when you're young, you can get away with a lot. I made up this look with on top of it some purple pashmina, which were the thing at the time, the pashminas. Actually, at the very beginning of my career, I really struggled getting clothes and I couldn't afford it on my own. And the other girls were getting people to lend them clothes, but really nobody thought a Mexican was gonna stick around, so why give me a dress? But things have changed a lot since. So this is in Cannes, the thing I could put together, and again, it was taking a chance, nobody was doing this. I took a sweater that's supposed to be meant to wear with something underneath, because it only had two buttons, and a skirt, and made my my own fashion style. Little did I know that Vogue one day was gonna say one of your iconic looks. And it was kind of like, a lot of these looks, it was just my creativity, trying to struggle with the fact that I didn't have a lot of resources. And I'm very proud that it was the imagination, you know? Um, that made me create these looks. This next one is 2002 when I did Frida and this was in Vogue and I was very proud to, to be part of Vogue for the first time in my life. This monkey, who was named Tyson, 
actually attacked me during uh, the filming of Frida and I was really severely injured, but I was brave enough uh, to let him come back and work again in the movie. And then I still did a photo shoot with him for Vogue afterwards. I was really hoping he wouldn't go for my face. This red dress was made for me by my dear friend, Narciso Rodriguez. And it was an important year for me because I was nominated for the Golden Globes. And I wanted to wear something fantastic. Why is Narciso? Convince me that I should go just simple, pick a color that represented a little bit of my spirit. And so he just made the simplest, but most beautiful red dress. And um, I think it was the way he explained it to me why he wanted to do this, that actually gave me a lot of confidence to actually own it, you know? And I love that dress, and I love the love that came, I could feel the love that came to it from Narciso. Okay, this blue dress, it was again to present at the Oscars, and uh, um, I'm very good friends with Penelope Cruz, and sometimes, and I'm sure when you have like your best friend, sometimes you think alike. And Penelope and I have this thing with many times, we we see each other to go out to dinner or something, and we're wearing the same thing, or the same color, or similar. Because we were presenting together this year, we did call each other and say, what are you wearing? So we make sure we're not wearing the same color or similar or, stra you know. And so she was wearing strapless and yellow and blue, and we were very careful not to wear the same thing. But when we showed up, we realized we were doing this with the same hair. So after all that work, it was very funny. Uh, we had very similar hair and it was hilarious. And at this time I was really good friends with Prince. And this is one of the dress that he liked the most. He was really into looking into what you were wearing. This is one of his favorite dresses that I've ever worn. So every time I look at him, I think of Penelope and Prince. Okay. So this Gucci number in 2012 in Cannes, what I remember is that I was super excited but super tired and it's one of those moments where you just like, you've been working all day and now you still have to work at night and I put more makeup on myself and then once we left I felt like a clown. And I was trying to hide at the party because he was just too much makeup. And then I went to the bathroom to try to rub it up and it just got worse. And so it's not, the, the makeup is good, but I shouldn't have worn something so flashy with all that jewelry and so much makeup. And so, yeah, to live and to learn. But the party was great. This dress I wore in 2015 for the Gucci LACMA gala designed by Alessandro Michele at the beginning of his grand appearance at Gucci. And I just love that dress and love the Pepto Bismo color, which maybe in some other time would have seen like scandalous. I think it, it goes well with my skin. This dress was for when I presented at the BAFTAs in 2018. I love this dress. I love this dress. And I'm gonna tell you something, after suffering so much with what am I gonna wear? Nobody wants to dress me. Oh, it's so nice that now I have access to like the best brands in the world. And I have to say that the Gucci team always know how to deal with my body and make it look good and what's best for me. And it's just so nice to have those fashion angels at my disposal that are so nice to me and really take care of me and look after me and they are genius and I always feel like excited to go to places now because you have something to wear. Ah, I love this one. This is the Met Gala 2019 and it's again Gucci and I have to confess I like to wear the I love to put something in my hair. I'm so glad that now Gucci and other designers are embracing the jewelry on the head. I love to decorate the head. Maybe it rubbed off from Frida. 
you know, who loved it so much, but uh, why not? Why just the hands and the neck? It's nice to put things that are shiny, bling bling on your head. I love that look. I know I was supposed to be more calm, but you know, now when I go to the Met, I don't try to compete. I try to enjoy the show. I don't want to be the star of the show. I just want to enjoy the show and just wear clothes that I love. Wow, it's been an amazing journey. I have to say, sometimes I look at the clothes I wore in the past and I go, what was I thinking? But then I feel proud of that girl, that sometimes not with a lot of resources, had fun and took chances and tried to be creative. I do appreciate the artistry that goes around it and how it expresses who we are in different times of history. Thank you for taking me through my fashion history throughout the years. <laughs>